everyone, it's Day one more time and welcome to Trend Day. Today we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to curl your hair without any heat, without any curling irons. And this is an old method, just like a homemade method that my mom used to use with me when I was very little. But it's just so effective and I love it. You don't use any heat. So if you're taking a break from the heat and stuff like that, this is perfect. So all you're gonna need is some brown paper. So I cut up an old, um, you know, brown paper bag. I just, one of the shopping bags and I cut strips. So you're basically going to cut strips about half an inch to an inch thick, okay? And uh, once you have whatever amount of strips you think you're going to need, then um, you will go ahead and do this to the strips, okay, to soften them up. So you do need to soften them up. Um, this is a homemade method. So there are tools at the um, drugstore that you can buy. I've even seen them like at Burlington Coat Factory and Ross and TJ Maxx and all those stores. Um, just great tools that, you know, they're like little tubes that you roll and then you bend and, you know, they lock in like by twisting or something like that. And they are just awesome. Um, but if you just don't have that and you want to try this, this is great. Um, now before we get started, what I like to do usually is um, just put a little bit of mousse in my hair. I don't know what product you use, but I like this uh, Tresemme mousse. It's uh, the climate control for all hair types. Um, I like it because it, it hardly leaves any buildup, it smells great, and um, it helps my curls just set a little better. Okay, that's how much I use because I do have long hair. You might not want to use that much if you have shorter hair. So you're going to apply that all throughout your hair as evenly as you can, okay? I'm going to apply that. Again, it is better if you do uh, brush out your hair. So this, um, you're going to Simply break your hair off in sections. Ideally, you would comb your hair out, but I'm not gonna do that now. I'm just gonna show you really quick how you get this done. So, okay, so you watch closely. This is very simple. All you do is wrap around here, okay? You wrap, now you can use a variety of like wax paper and stuff like that, but I just find that brown paper just works better. And then all you're gonna do is just simply, not too tight, you're just going to like so and you're gonna leave it like that okay these are gonna be um soft spiral curls depending on how long you leave it on then you will get their you know like uh, bouncier curls so continue to do that for the rest of your hair and i'll meet you when i'm done okay Um, I didn't have enough strips and I'm just gonna leave my hair that like that at the bottom. So I'm all done Okay, as far as time well the more time you leave them on the curlier they're gonna be of course So what you can do is they're so comfortable. You can actually even sleep in them. Okay now what you can do is um, spray a little bit of um, water all over just a bit to moisturize it and, and to speed up the process if you don't have that much time you can um, just uh, blow dry lightly you know over the humidity the the um, the water the spray that you put on your hair so to dry it off and kind of set the curls in so if you can do that um, that's awesome dry and uh, leave them on for two to three hours to show you more or less how this works and uh, meet you back in a little bit hi everyone i'm back um, so basically it's been about an hour. I decided to take it off sooner because I won't be able to um, film and I need to go somewhere and of course I'm not going to go out like this in public. Although you can, but where I'm going, this would not be the norm. So I just uh, hope that, you know, the curls are somewhat normal so you can get an idea. With this, the more time the better so i have slept with um these on 
um, and, and when I wake up, take them off, my curls really do last a very long time. Um, a good, a good six to eight hours before they start like, you know, losing their bounds. And of course, remember to put product um, in your hair before you put the strips on because that will definitely help it. So let's start. We're going to begin. Remember these are, you're going to throw these away. So don't, you know, be careful. You don't have to be very careful. So once you see, I, this is what I mean when you shouldn't tie them too much because then they get stuck but that's not bad that's not bad for an hour so um, I'm not satisfied um, I really don't like that curl too much I would like it to be more defined but I mean it's only been an hour so it really should be longer than that so let's do this it's a little better okay little better okay. be as defined as I would have liked them to be although some of them seem to be more defined than others and you will notice that where I put more mousse and I should have been more um, generous with my mousse but where I put more mousse is where the curls are definitely more defined that's so you can see how important it is to put product in your hair before you begin this whole process because especially mousse will help your curls set faster and prettier just with better definition so let's you know come let's finish taking these off A great way to recycle your brown paper bags from the supermarket And if you're a craft maniac and you have those brown paper rolls laying around like I do, then you can use that as well. You know, those painter rolls that come in the big, you can use that also. So there you have it. Like this has only been an hour and that's really not that bad. Um, I thought it would be, I thought it would be um, definitely uh worse so i'm not i'm not dissatisfied at all with the result you can see the difference where i put the curlers and where i didn't which is like back there let's see back there you can see there i didn't use the curlers there so um there's really a difference um so again make sure that you leave your uh, strips on for longer than an hour if you want definitely you know more volume and more curls um if i would have left this on for three hours the curls would have been up to here so my hair would have been really bouncy bouncy and if that's what you're going for make sure that you leave it on for that amount of time so i will probably do another video uh, just showing you you know how it looks after a whole night of um strips on there so thank you for watching and if you like my videos and my tutorials and everything i do make sure you like and subscribe and share and follow me on social media and thank you so much guys you are awesome everyone um i really do appreciate that you take your time and you know watch this little video and spend this time with me so thank you bye